Hey guys, what's up? This is my DIY pull-up station. I had seen an image online of something similar uh, on a body weight forum, but uh, there weren't any instructions on how to build it or you know what it was made of. All you could see was the picture, so I thought I'd make a quick video here. Uh, as you can see, it's the main support posts are four by fours. They are eight footers, and then the feet of the actual pull-up station are four by fours as well they're five foot and then the posts are dead set center on them the bridging going this direction are two by fours which they could be four by fours or you could actually use more pipe uh, but that could get pretty expensive with the metal and then the bracing which is 45 to 40 ish degree angle are two by fours to secure the entire station i used carriage bolts which were 10 inch 10 inch 8 inch 8 inch 8 inch and 8 inch um, and then two 8 inchers down here as well uh, another 2 by 4 down here for some racking and bracing and then I had metal angles on the 4 by 4s down here they're 4 inch by 4 inch uh, I used wood screws to help secure it since I was doing this by myself I used a 52 inch steam pipe. The width of the station is 48 inches, so it's four foot, uh, but I left extra on the pipe so that I could bore into the post or you could bore all the way through um, so that the pipe actually sits on the post. So it's sitting in there uh, on, side, uh, on the post, which that prevents it from you know ripping off because if all you were to do is secure it with the flanges after you do a, you know, a month's worth of torque pull-ups or you know, weighted pull-ups or muscle-ups, you'll eventually rip it off. So I have it bored inside the post, and then it's secured with the termination flanges, which are secured by two-inch uh, and they're three-eighths inch thick lag screws. Uh, it's a 52-inch steam pipe that was free. All the rest of the materials I bought. The total cost of the project was about 107 bucks. Actually, came out to about 106 and 97 cents. I'll post a list of the materials and the cost breakdown in the description. As well, I made a Google SketchUp model before I built this over here um, of the actual project, which had a little bit of different concepts of using the the metal um, for the bridging. Um, but you know, it gives you the basic breakdown, the pull up height off the ground the bar is seven feet i originally had it at seven foot six inches but i wanted to lower the total height of the the project itself and i wanted it to be low enough so that i could execute jumping muscle ups uh, as i'm not very good at those yet but uh, i've had it for about two to three weeks now it's been pretty sturdy i have weights supporting the feet so it doesn't rock either way I haven't had any racking. Most of the wood's treated. This is the indoor version, which is much more simple, or much more complex, I'm sorry, than the outdoor version, which you would just post into the ground and then cement. Um, so it required more wood. And like I said, if you wanted to make it even more sturdy, you could use this bar down here and then down there, and you could get bigger braces, but that would end up running to more because the cost of metal these days and the cost of wood and whatnot. But I'll post some information in the description. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.